Brad, you've talked a lot this year about the margin for error you guys have. You obviously talked before the game about being uh, hovering around 500 the whole time. What has to change for the group to be able to take the steps forward that you wanted to? Um, there's a lot, but I think that um, we just have to be better at controlling the things that we can control, playing together the right way on both ends of the court. Um, I think if we take anything from this game, we take the last five minutes and we clip up how that group that came in played together and how we pressured the ball, um, how we were communicative, especially Taco on the back line, um, how we shared it. And even though we missed some shots, we got great looks. Um, if, if our team can play more like that last five minutes, then, you know, we'll be as good as we can be. Um, and, you know, if not, we'll be average. Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad, um, I guess you could probably take better if you guys just didn't execute and you lost, but it seemed like at moments effort was an issue. Hachimura got a couple of easy layups just from running down the floor and beating his defender, um, guys, you know, just kind of not guarding the extra man or the extra play, kind of giving up. I mean, how do you address that when guys, it's pretty obvious, guys just weren't doing the little extra things? Well, I think you're, I think as um, when you're in this, you hope that it's legs, right? You hope that it's the, the, the past week plus, right? But you can't, you, that can't be an excuse. Right. Everybody is in this deal, especially Washington, who's jammed up all their games, you know, is going through this. Um, we have to do our jobs better. Um, we have to play more connected together. And, and we said it before the game, like, you know, when you put Beal and Westbrook and Hachimura, the way that he played and the way that those guys off the bench played out there, like we have to play well to win. Like it's not like it's not like we're just going to roll the balls out and win that game. We have to play well. And so when we don't play well, when we don't take care of the little things. We definitely have no chance. Mark Murphy. Hi, Bram. Uh, you guys had very great ball movement against a very tough defensive team in Toronto. And then the next game, you comment that, commented that the ball movement was gone. Looks like it was again today. I mean, just how do you replicate that and how do you get back to it? Yeah, I mean, I think we've got to look at everything. There's obviously, and you know, I know um, we've talked a lot about lineups and consistency and who plays and who doesn't play. You know, guys that really move the ball or guys that really run to spots and really execute hard have probably got to be the priority um, playing wise for now you know, because around our very best players. Um, and I think that that's, that's where we're going to have to get to because uh, um, that's clearly an issue. Mark D'Amico. Hey coach, you said the other day that you were basically uberly confident that Kevin, or excuse me, Kemba Walker was going to find his rhythm. Looked like he had it tonight. What, what can you guys do to, to keep him in that rhythm moving forward so that you get this type of efficiency from him moving forward? Mark, I didn't lose sleep over Kimbo last week. I'm not going to lose any sleep over him keeping that tonight. He's a, he's a pro. He's a winner. He's tough. He cares. He's all, the, he's all what's good. So he played, he, he played with some, some heart in a lot of situations tonight. And was the was the loudest voice on the team all night uh, or all afternoon. And so I, I don't worry about Kimba. I'll let everybody else do that.